The intersection of Fairfield Avenue and Paulding is on track to get a major renovation, a project the public work officials say they've been working on for more than a year now. There's a public hearing called on to discuss those plans and to talk with residents about the, what they say would be improvements to the area. Now the plan, the hopes to reduce the Paulding Road corridor near Bishop Lures High School between Fairfield and South Calhoun Streets. They want to make that three lanes. This includes one in each direction and then the center bi-directional turn lane. They say that should make traffic flow more efficiently through the area. What the situation right now is that when you're coming off the Airport Express where you really don't have a change in character that motorists can identify until you're on the public street. We want to create that break in the character of the differentiation between the type of traffic on the expressway to the urban street. Now, during tonight's meeting, it got a little heated at times. There was some backlash from residents who live on Paulding. Some of them say going down to three lanes is going to complicate traffic even more. They say it could cause extreme backups and make it, quote, impossible to get out of their driveways. Another addition is plans a new grass park strip that's alongside the sidewalks, but residents also arguing that that will add no safety aspects. Our sidewalk is so narrow that no one feels safe walking on the streets and they're actually walking through our yards, which I don't blame them because they are so close to the traffic. I asked about splitting the sidewalk evenly on both sides and cutting out that grass. You know, they said that would look good for aesthetics and I said, you know, but you said number one priority was safety, but you're not proving that to me. Our neighbors also tell us they're still worried the plan will not change the heavy traffic, but instead increase jams and backups in their area. The director of public works tells us the traffic studies have already been done in that area. An average of 15,000 cars drive through it every day. He says the new plan is proven to handle about 18 to 20,000 cars a day. So the data shows a significant traffic and safety improvement.